Hi everyone, welcome back to Goom's Tech Talks channel. Uh, so in this video, we will discuss about what are complex data types in AL programming language that is in Business Central. And by the end, we will discuss about BLOB data type. <clears throat> so first, let us understand what is a complex data type. So complex data type consists of multiple data elements. It can hold some large size of data than fundamental data types okay so i have already discussed about fundamental data types in my previous video so please go and watch it if you haven't uh, watched it till now so uh, we have categorized the complex data type into few categories let us see the categories first so first one is a data structure okay so based on the data structure you have we have two two um, complex data type one is file and record okay so file and record if you wanted to get the data from the table you will be using the record and if you wanted to get the data like if you wanted to use the file like to manage the file you'll be using a file okay so that is what data structure and objects so we have various objects in business central and that object we'll be using few object as a data type okay so one is a page we can access a report coordinate query and xml and of course we can also access the table as well but this will be often using it okay and based on the web service you can see http xml and json input and output we have dialogue and in stream and out stream date we have date formula references we have record id record ref uh, that is record reference field reference key reference and in other data types we have variant table filter blob big text and guid so um like in the future releases okay so these type of data like these complex data types may change may be deleted or any other uh, um, uh, few features may be added okay or new data type may be introduced so it may happen in the future so uh, this is what the overall uh, complex data types which we have as of now okay so we will discuss every data type one by one so i am planning to discuss about blob today okay so in my upcoming videos i'll be discussing about all the data types uh, one by one and if possible a few data types like um uh, text uh, big text guid can be discussed together like table reference key ref can be discussed together in that case i'll be discussing all these things together so to begin with a blob it can contain specially formatted text okay so uh, blob is a binary binary large object you can see uh, b l o b stands for binary large object okay so what is this binary large object it's a versatile uh, data type that allows us to store a wide range of information in the business central so it has a specific uh, size limit okay so if you talk about the size limit of this particular data type uh, the, it provides 2 gb of data that is we can upload merely 2 gb of de uh, data this general size limit ensures that we can store large amount of data as needed okay so blob has its own properties okay so these properties ha can help us to define uh, uh, the behavior and characteristics of the blob data so before we delve into the blob we should understand few things that blob can be used in the table level so there are data types which can be used uh, with the um, storage okay like the table level storage we talk uh, we will discuss that uh, once we cover all the data type okay so data about 40 percentage of the data types um, can be used to define the data that is stored either in tables or in a working storage okay we have two uh, size of storage data type usage so one is one can be stored in the table level okay table level of storage can happen and another storage can happen in a working storage data okay so blob and table filter will only uh, store uh, stored in the table so we can declare the uh, blob object only in the table object not in the not in the uh, page okay that is what uh, the thing which i wanted to tell you so here you can see that this is a sample table it's a simple employee table previously we have created in my previous video one is a text 
and next second one is an integer which stores the employee id and third one is a text so now i wanted to add the photo of the employee so what i can do is i can enter the photo with the um uh, with the data type called blob so i can just put it like photo okay so if you create a photo that is if you create a blob data type then you should know that you have to add even if you haven't add this uh, property but it will not show you any error but if you are planning to upload the uh, uh, photo of a um, employee or photo of anything then you have to definitely add this particular property for, for this field that is subtype okay subtype and just press control and space you can see four subtype one is a bitmap so here you can see you have bitmap okay you have a bitmap here so bitmap is used to do, uh you have four thing okay we saw four thing here so one is bitmap so what is the purpose of bit, bitmap if you wanted to store bitmap graphics that like uh photo okay bitmap graphics then you can uh, choose subtype as bitmap second one is memo okay so it is used to store the text data okay text data such as large blocks of text or note and the third one which we saw is what the user defined okay so this subtype is versatile option for storing any type of data that doesn't fit into the predefined subtypes for example if you want to store the pdf document so you can also store that but the thing is okay i'll just tell you the uh, important factor here once i complete this subtype and the fourth one is json is to store the data specifically it's very uh, json data and it is very easy to deal with the structured data of json format okay you can easily store the json format of data so if you are using bitmap you can easily upload the photo directly i'll show you the demo don't worry but if you're trying to up uh, use memo user defined or json in this subtype okay you will not uh, uh, like visibly see what other date user will be inputting because these three are based on the text or some document based things and if you wanted to input this then you have to go with import or export option like uh, you have to uh, import or export using a uh, a file buffers okay like you have to upload as a file or uh, export import as a file or export as a file so as of now we are not going to see these three things i'll just show you what happens if i use this okay but we will understand the how to upload the image here okay so that is what the usage limit here blobs can only be included in table okay you can only include in the table so you can utilize the blob fields within tables to store and manage binary data okay and uh, you cannot view it is important to know that you cannot view text directly stored within blobs from um, blobs okay from development environment that is very very important you should uh, know about this so let us try uh, this uh, subtype that is if you just press control and space you can see you can you have a bitmap okay so if you are using the bitmap then you can also use an another property called compressed okay so compressed if you wanted to have uh, if you wanted to manage the space efficiently then you can go ahead with the compressed property so it determines whether the data stored in the blob field is compressed okay if you set this to true so it can just make it a true in order to make it compressed okay so i have created this bit blob and now i'm just going to add this in the page as well so i can just copy this paste it because we need a page in order to see how it is affecting okay so that is why i'm just creating it so you can use photo so what i did is uh, i have added the photo that is that record here okay uh, to upload the data so let us just save this and uh, i am just going to execute this press control and f5 in order to execute this and let us wait for this particular thing to launch okay that is to open execute and run so what we are going to do here is what we will try to upload the blob uh, file that is as a subtype that is what we have used the subtype as a 
bitmap okay so let us see what it is going to uh, show for us so this is a page it is launching a page okay it is opening a page here so here you have to press this plus okay in order to add the data so you can add the data like um one and i am just going to use my name and um the location and also you can see that here you have an option called press okay for the photo if you click on this photo it will ask you to upload the photo click on the browser and you can just simply upload your photo and click open you can see that your photo is visible here okay and if you just press this back button you can see your photo is available and it will be saved in your table got it so this is how you can upload the um date or like upload use the blob file so here if now i'm going to show you how this um uh, other subtypes okay is going to work here i'm just going to use uh, json or memo whatever it may be so i'm saving this and again i'm pressing this f5 in order to see like what is the output here so let me just close this window and wait for that uh, uh, that is a new thing to open okay let us see what it shows here so as i told if you use uh, other than the bitmap okay you cannot view that directly okay if i click this plus you cannot view the control here directly okay uh, because you know it's stored and uh, because this is in the development environment and uh, um, so here you can see like only if you can upload this uh, text as uh, like you have to upload like import or export that is possible here so yes we have concluded the today's session uh, that wraps up our overview of blob in business central we have covered the definition property usage and limitation blob provide a powerful uh, tool for managing the st and storing a wide range of data within the application so if you want to know more about blob and if you have anything uh, you wanted to let me know about blob so please leave the comment if you find this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more informative content if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye